I'm Evie Dross, owner and creative director of Evolution Design. Welcome to my channel where I provide great information on how to grow your brand every Monday. Tune in. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. So today we're going to be talking about web cookies and not these delicious brown butter cookies. I couldn't resist. Sorry guys. <clears throat> so if you have visited a website recently, there's no doubt that you've seen a cookie disclaimer or a cookie consent notification somewhere on that page that require you to hit accept in order to remove it. So what exactly is a cookie and what purpose do they serve? Web cookies, also known as HTTP cookies or internet cookies or browser cookies, they're basically just small packets of data that track users and recognize them when they visit a website. So in a nutshell, that cookie stores your activity on a website and there are different uh, types of cookies that track activity. So for instance, um, there's a tracking cookie and that um, creates a history of all your visits to a website there's a session cookie and that tracks your activity as you navigate a website, but it, it goes away once you leave that website. And then there's an authentication cookie and that tracks your login information. So for example, um, a cookie is in action when you move items to your shopping cart. And I know you've all experienced this before you leave that website and you come back later to still find those items in the shopping cart. And another one is uh, when your username and password are stored on a website. So I'm gonna go over some of the benefits and cons of um, a cookie, but let's start with the benefits. So from an individual standpoint without cookies, whenever you left a website, it would reset and you'd have to start you know, the entire process over the next time you visit that website. So for example, you have to enter your shipping address every time you make a purchase. Um, cookies basically save online shoppers time by enabling autofill or allowing them to store their credit card information online. But from a business perspective, cookies identify visitors and can help to provide a custom experience. And an example of that is that cookies could show visitors products that they recently viewed, um, keep their items in the shopping cart, or even recommend similar products. They also um, offer more seamless experience by storing contact and payment options. Um, and all that increases the chances that, you know, they will ultimately make a purchase. And so cookies also make it possible to offer visitors who have been to the website before a truly custom experience like you know having a welcome message um, a welcome back message that could display to an individual you know with their name and show a list of their recent purchases so some of the cons of a, of a cookie is when it comes to cookies the biggest issue um, that is involved is privacy and security because cookies track people's online activity um, third parties can access that information and use it to send people unsolicited advertisements. And it can be very in invasive, especially if the website they visited involves sensitive subject matters. And additionally, you know, cookies create an inroad for cyber criminals to gain access to users' emails, passwords, and even credit card information. So security is consistently an issue and very important that your website is um, secure. So as a result, people are wary of cookies and many don't want their information being tracked and stored. To help protect people's um, personal data and privacy, the GDPR established rules, I think it was like last year to enable individuals um, to have better control over their data and how it's used by businesses. Um, and if there is a chance someone in the um, EU could visit your website and you collect that data, you will need both a cookie consent banner, 
and a privacy notice to comply with those laws. Um, you don't want to fail to comply um, as you will basically face some really hefty fines. So it just makes sense to cover all bases and include one. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, but that's it for this week and I'm gonna continue to enjoy these brown butter cookies. Mm, so good. See you guys next week.